Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Aaron with U-Haul. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Hollywood Destination 2 bike rack. Now this rack is very adjustable and is perfect to take you and your friends on your next ride. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at its features. So let's start by showing you how easy it is to install this rack onto your vehicle. Now right out of the box, it comes with a two inch adapter already installed, so it's already ready if you have a two inch receiver on your vehicle. Now if your vehicle has an inch and a quarter receiver, you can remove this adapter using the provided tools that come in your kit, and that way you can fit it onto your vehicle. So now that we've gone over this, this rack is one of the most lightest that you can find on the market. It only weighs 20 pounds, which makes it really easy to line up with your vehicle. So we're just gonna take that shank and we'll line it up with our hitch receiver and we'll push it in until our two pinholes line up. Now to secure your rack to your vehicle, your kit comes with a threaded locking pin. Now this pin comes with a flat washer and lock washer and you can just thread this in through the passenger side. Now that it's threaded by hand as tight as we can, we're gonna take a provided multi-tool and we're just gonna tighten it down all the way. And to secure your pin to your vehicle, we have a provided cotter pin. Now we're just gonna push in through that hole. And then we have a lock that we're just gonna push in on the end until it clicks. And our kit comes with two keys that we'll use to unlock that. With our rack secured to our vehicle, you'll see that there isn't any more play in it, which means if you're hauling it around town, you don't have to worry about it rattling behind your vehicle. So let's go ahead and talk about our different positions that this can go into. Right now we have it into our loading position. This is ready for us to put our bikes on. But if you're not hauling any bikes, you can also make this nice and compact by folding it up towards your vehicle. To do that, we're gonna have to put down our mast. We have this arm right here that holds it into place. We'll just loosen up this knob. So then once this arm is removed, we can fold down our mast and then we can just put down this arm as well. Now this can still go up and down, so we need to secure this to our rack. We're gonna take one of our bike rack straps, we're gonna release it and wrap it around the mast. Then we're going to secure it into place. That way it won't move while you have it up in your compact position. Now with our mast down, we're going to remove this knob right here, but first we need to remove the pin that's located on the driver's side. Now that we have that removed, we're gonna take our rack and we're going to tilt it up until these two holes line up and then we'll tighten it back out into place. And then we'll use our cotter pin on the other side to secure it. So now let's talk about how you can get into your cargo area with this rack still installed on your vehicle. Now you can't get into it with it in your upright position, so we'll have to lower it down to your loading position. Now to get into your trunk area, you have to have the mast down. If you have it up, there's still not enough clearance for most vehicles to be able to get it all the way up. So you'll have to keep your mast down, so then you can go ahead and get access to your cargo area. So with our bike in our loading position, let's talk about all of our measurements that you need to know when loading a bike. Now this rack can hold up to two bikes, and each bike can weigh up to 35 pounds for a total weight capacity of 70 pounds. Now this will accommodate a wheelbase of up to 48 inches and a tire width of up to three inches can fit into these platforms. Now your bike will have three attachment points. We have one for each of our wheels and we have one on the mast that connects to our frame on our bike. Now all of these straps are adjustable. The one on our mast will slide up and down to accommodate your bike. And on our trays, we have two sets of holes where you can remove the strap and switch positions the one that's closer to the mast is for any bike with a wheelbase of 44 inches and under. So now that we've gone over all of our measurements, let's go ahead and grab our bike and show you how it fits. Now when loading your bike, we want to repeat that if you are loading two bikes, you wanna make sure that you load heaviest in the front. And if you're just loading one like us, you want to make sure it's the front position. Now you wanna make sure that your pedals are facing sideways 
and that the one on your right side is facing forward. So we're gonna make sure that our gears are on the side facing our vehicle. So we're just gonna lift up our bike and we're gonna set it into the platform on our front position. Now we're gonna take our strap from our mast, just our position on the mast so it lines up with our frame and then we'll go ahead and tighten it up. Now that it's holding it into place, we'll go ahead and, and attach our straps through our spokes on our tire. Now, as we tighten it, we want to make sure that we keep our rubber protector so we prevent any scratching on our wheels. And we'll repeat on the other wheel. So with those three straps attached, your bike is secure and you're ready to go to your next ride. Now, if you're loading a second bike, you just want to face it the opposite way. So it's going to be facing towards the passenger side and with your pedals in the same position, nothing will end up touching with the two bikes. So that wraps up the Destination 2 bike rack. If you have any questions about this, you can visit your closest U-Haul or you can visit us online at uhaul.com. Thank you.